Hey guys, just as an announcement, the Q&A for my channel is tomorrow. So if you haven't already, post your questions in the comments below or in my Q&A video, which will be linked in the description. Also, I will be hosting a live stream tomorrow at around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with my sister, or 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. If you are interested in coming, feel free. I would appreciate your support, and I'll see you there. Okay, without further ado, let's do this. Hey guys, Cerulean here, and I'm... Hi! Hey, I'm here with Armadillo 12. Uh, but I also go by Ice Monkey 6, 9, 8, whatever. Yup, I'm here with my sister Armadillo 12, or Ice Monkey, just like she said. Today, we're here to play Duck Life 4 Shattered Crystal. The disc is spinning like it did at the beginning of Duck Life 3. I like the throwback. Me too! Now this game got much more mixed reviews from IGN. It got a 9 out of 10 instead. Let's see how accurate they may be. Let's start the game. Duck Life 4. Here, we see a close-up of a duck. Yeah, this isn't the most creative background. Well, it's better than nothing. True, true. How fast is your computer? Well, not that fast, but I want good graphics. I'll go with average. Ten minutes later. Never mind. One year after the ban of genetically modified ducks. Okay, I just gotta say, thank goodness they banned them. Just look at that. I mean, they shouldn't exist. It really shouldn't. One duck racer reigns supreme. Let me guess. He's like the champion of Duck Life 3. Actually, no, he isn't. I mean, it is up to you to beat him. And with that, let's pick our duck. Brown, white, or gold? White, because fluffer doodles. Okay, let's pick a name for our duck. I suggest something like Cerulean. Kiwi. Fair enough. That's a strong duck you got. You're right, it really is. Let's see how it does in the race. All right, let's do this. All right, it's moving. Uh-oh, your duck collapsed. Looks like it needs some more energy. Well, to be honest, I like how it just submerges you into the gameplay. It makes it more natural. Here's some food. Drag it to your duck to increase its energy. Once again, I really like how it submerges you into the game mechanics, and it doesn't just tell you to figure it out. Oh, yay. You can still play keep away with it. It gave us a super seed. Nice! Let's try to race again. Okay, let's do this! Nice, we won! We may not have been the fastest, but we had the endurance. Nice! Hey, you're new here, right? I'm Joe, the running trainer. Yo, Joe, what up, son? Talk to me if you ever want to increase your running level. You got it. See that duck over there with the <gasps> over his head? He wants to race you. Just click on him to start the race. All right, Kiwi, you can do this. Over here's the shop. Ugh, oh, this is taking so long. And finally, that windmill in the distance is the tournament room. Tournaments are a set of three races in a row without breaks. You can choose a different duck to use in each race. If you win, I'll run a run of duck. Oh, cool. You can move your duck around. That's awesome. Okay, let's do some training. So we're going to go through three mini games: speed, endurance, and reactions. Let's begin. What duck are you going to choose? Oh, I guess we'll use Kiwi. I don't think we have anything else. Use the right and left keys to move your duck. Jump into the holes and stay on the screen for as long as you can. Remember the pro training for running in Duck Life 3? I called it the most fun out of all of the trainings. This is just awesome though. The modes are just distinct enough that you never really get tired of any of them. The speed training is easy to pick up and hard to master. We found ourselves having a genuinely good time while playing it. However, this mode, like most of the training, relies on a bit too much luck. Oops, that you could go through that wall. Use the left and right keys to move your duck. Try not to get hit by the falling objects, but collect the coins. 
This is the greatest battle between your greedy inner self. You want to collect the coins, but sometimes that gets you killed. This mode is crafted in just the right way that you have to fight that instinct. And that's truly the greatest test in this mode. Use the 1, 2, 3, and 4 keys to control your duck. Dodge the obstacles by pressing the number that is written on them. Collect the coin. Out of all of the modes you can play for running, this is the most broken. But trust me, it's not that hard. Sometimes though, if you're meeting stones when you have to press 4, say, if you repeatedly press 4, you'll go right through the stones. You can be very classy when you slide through. It's pretty funny, even though it doesn't make sense. I felt myself wanting to play more of this training just to level up my duck. And I think that is the key aspect that this game has that Duck Life 3 doesn't. It feels like you're grinding your level in Duck Life 3, but here you have a good time doing it. Okay, we're level four now. That seems pretty good. Let's race you, sir, running race over the hills. Let's go. Okay, Kiwi, good luck. Oh, we're not fast enough. Let's train some more and try again. Plus 14, nice. We're back, we got it. Woohoo! Three, two, one, go! We're winning! Oh, never mind. We need some more super seed. I like how they removed the regular seed. It was just irrelevant anyway. Even if you put your duck in the air, it'll still float toward the seed. That's kind of weird. Anyways, we're ready to race now. Good luck, little duck. These races get a little boring after a while. I mean, it's just grassland. Time to race this expert that's over, le over level 10. Ha, we can do this. I love how every duck but you can talk. Logic. That tree looks a little different. Also, notice how when you walk, you just float up to the tree. Is this a hologram or something? Well, at least we got a tourney invite. Tourney? Yeah, Armadillo, that's what all the cool people say. Oh. Time to personalize our duck. I kind of like the fez or the to- Kiwi's getting the watermelon hat. Oh, okay, fine. Aw, Kiwi looks adorable. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's race in the country tournament. That has a grammar issue. I just need to find it. Anyway, let's pick who races when. First, we should have Kiwi. Second, we should have Kiwi. Third, we should have Kiwi. Time to pick our team name. Team Kiwi, boring. Tough pirates, too edgy. Blue walkers? That's just strange. Fast lettuce. Really? Uh, okay then. Race one. We're blowing everyone out of the water. Why? Because we're fast lettuce. Woohoo, we won the first race. Indeed. Well, these races are extremely easy. We're not finding any difficulty with them. Why do all the other ducks have top hats? Are they trying to be cooler than us? Well, we'll prove we're cooler than them for beating them in this race. We sure showed them. Third race across the bench. It's very scenic, but we still won. We won the last race. Yes! Fast Lettuce beat the other three teams. As you win the races, you feel yourself evolve. I'm just kidding. We unlock Swamp. Let's dive in. Whoa! Hey guys, Cerulean here. 
I just wanted to say thank you for your support in the Two Duck Life 3 videos and how you guys wanted to see more. I legitimately didn't expect the fantastic support. Thanks to all of you. Goodbye. Bye.